In this problem, we have to find the limit as delta z approaches zero. So if we just take uh, delta z and set it equal to zero, we end up dividing by zero, so that is not a good strategy. So another strategy maybe is to maybe just multiply out the numerator and see what happens. So this is the limit as delta z approaches zero. And so here, to multiply this out, we'll use a familiar formula. If you have a plus b and you square it, you square the first term. Then you multiply the a and the b and you double the result, so 2ab, and then you square the last term. So here we'll square the first term, so we'll get z naught squared, plus, and then we'll multiply these two and double them, so 2z naught delta z, and then we square the last one, so we have delta z, and that whole thing is squared. All right, then we still have the minus z naught squared. It's all being divided by delta z. So this is the limit. As delta z approaches 0, and let's see, oh look, the z naught squared's cancel, that's nice. So we have 2 z naught delta z plus delta z squared, all being divided by delta z. And it looks like we can factor out a delta z in the numerator, so let's go ahead and do that. This is the limit as delta z approaches zero. So pulling out the delta z up top, let's see, we'll have uh, two z naught plus delta z. It's all being divided by delta z, and finally we can cancel the delta z's. This is equal to the limit as delta z approaches zero of two z naught plus delta z. And now you just take this and plug it in. So this is equal to two z naught plus zero. Notice I stopped writing the limit sign when, when we actually plug in the number. So you just get two times z naught, and that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.